What is the best boss fight in GD? Let's start out with the first boss fight ever created, which is Deadlocked. Being one of the most famous boss fights, it does its job okay. The only reason it's above a 6 is that it was the first boss fight ever created in GD, giving it a better score and originality. Speaking of Deadlocked, what about Space Locked by Laser Blitz? This level has aged pretty well actually, considering most boss fights in 2.0 were this. The movement makes the level stick out, causing the level to be more enjoyable to watch. The level did end up getting ripped off by Outer Space, which is the most popular boss fight to date. The reason for this is probably because it's in the Fire Gauntlet, which is pretty impressive. But is the decoration impressive? Not really. The decoration looks pretty generic, but at least the gameplay is alright. Can't say the same about most feature levels today. Oh, and Space Locked actually got a sequel a year later, which is far better in decoration quality. This is Space Lock 2, and you can really see how Laser Blitz improved. Unfortunately, it's hard to see what's going on in the level, especially at the drop. Does the ending get better though? Not really. The ending is quite rushed and feels like filler to get to one minute. The level also gets a dent in the originality score due to it being a sequel. However, do you know what doesn't get a hit in originality? This is Cyrus, a level by the iconic creator Funny Game. The level might not look as good as levels today, but for the time, this was beautiful. This is also the first proper boss fight, as Deadlocked was nothing compared to this. The level was so original for the time that it inspired many boss fights today. But is Cyrus better than Space Lock 2? Not really, but it's very close. Continuing the trend of original boss fights, this is the Crater, a level you've probably seen at some point. The animations in this level are on point, and the level even has a story, albeit a very simple one. Something that doesn't really make sense is how you brutally murder a hand and end up exiting the level immediately after. Talk about a hit and run, but just like Cyrus, the level's gameplay is far from the best, especially for an 8 star. Very solid, but I bet there are far better boss fights out there. Another level you might have heard of due to its popularity is Ouroboros by Viprin. The level has a super cool theme, but as for the boss, it could use some work. Despite the boss looking amazing, the movements are really clunky. Clunky movements feel something like the Extinction Dinosaur since it's just a bunch of bones, but with the Ouroboros boss, it just looks weird. However, Ouroboros is just slightly better than Space Lock 2, making it the best boss fight so far. But Ouroboros wouldn't last very long, with the next creator to challenge it. This is Zender Game, an extremely well-known player for his amazing boss fights. Even in 2018, he was still an amazing creator. This is Boss 3 Electro, despite its odd name, it's a very solid level in terms of decoration. The fact that this was created in 2018 is insane. Can't really say the same for its gameplay though, as it's just a complete mess. The custom orbs make it even harder to read, and they aren't even consistent. Sometimes a portal is normal, and sometimes it's a line, making it extremely confusing. This would overtake Ouroboros, but the gameplay prevents it from doing so. However, that's just one bad apple on Zender Game's account. But before we talk about another Zender Game level, I want to mention the router, a Zender Game inspired level. The level is extremely good for a fairly unknown creator at the time. However, the boss is pretty short, as it's only on screen for 25% of the whole level. It would be a solid 8 out of 10, however the originality brings it down to a 7.5 out of 10, still making it the best boss fight so far. Let's see how long it can keep up its reign. Well, apparently not so long. This is Boomslayer, which bangs even on the first part. My favorite parts have to be Knot's part and SBKL's part. An issue I have with the boss is that it doesn't appear once before you're in the boss fight, making it feel out of place and random. At least the use of sound effects in the boss makes the part pop. Another boss that uses sound effects is Beat Demon. The animations in the level are very smooth, with a super clean style. The same can't be said for the gameplay though, as it's far from the best. The level's overall score goes from an 8.5 out of 10 to an 8 out of 10. Yet, Beat Demon is the best boss fight so far. After searching through a bunch of 2.1 levels, I decided to take a detour from 2.1 to update 2.2. Believe it or not, there are whole private servers made with 2.2 features, with the Blaze GDPS being the most popular. But if you thought 2.2 levels wouldn't be the best due to less experience with all the new features, you'd be wrong. This is In the Castle, an amazing 2.2 RPG level. Despite the level not having the most insane designs, it has a lot of charm and ideas to it. 
Like you can walk up to bosses to fight them, buy items from shops, and even check how fabulous you look in the mirror. The level even has a little bit of horror, and despite it feeling a little cheesy, it's a nice touch. These aren't the best boss fights we've seen so far, but a very cool one nonetheless. Another great 2.2 boss fight is Fight of the Light. Fight of the Light is just a very solid level with an entertaining boss fight, what else can I say? But yet, Fight of the Light is still not the best boss fight out there, not even in 2.2. Going back to 2.1 levels, this is Kylie Ellison, a heaven themed level that seems to be completely forgotten. It's a shame though, as the dragon looks absolutely stunning. The level is kind of inconsistent though, as some parts aged poorly and some didn't, but at least it's fairly solid. Even with all of that, Beat Demon was still the best boss fight so far. Remember Zender Games levels, specifically Boss 3 Electro? Well, if you took that and improved it in all aspects, you get Ultra Violence. The glow usage in this level is amazing, and the movements are super well made. The fact that this was made on mobile blows my mind, since this is the best level I've ever made on mobile. Although I will admit, the ending does feel quite empty. This is a new best boss fight, however, compared to some of other Zender Games works, this is nothing. Another level close to ultra violence and quality is Experiment 204 by HH Hyper, which is way better in animation quality, but unfortunately falls flat in structures. The lack of structures makes the level feel way emptier and more like Cloud Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. I also think the intro is just a little too random, however, I still think ultra violence is a tad bit better. Another great level by HH Hyper is the Mayhem War, which is a level similar to the likes of Against the God. And just like Against the God, the Mayhem War falls flat in its gameplay, which stops it from being one of the best boss fights out there. It's a shame though, as the decoration looks gorgeous in some parts. However, from here things get much harder to find. After searching for hours on end, I remembered a level by the name of Master Game by Sir Punch. Master Game is an entire RPG in GD, with even a built-in save system. The level itself isn't the most fun to play, but it's still really solid gameplay wise. I can't give the level too much for decoration as it's pretty basic, however it's carried by originality. The boss fight itself feels like something you'd see in an indie title, and the movement had never been done before. And what's crazier is, this was made in 2017. Yeah, 2017. Master Game is now at first place, but what are some other RPGs? Well, this is a day in the snow, which you guessed it, is an RPG. It's kind of hard to tell if it's a boss fight level, but I'll still include it. The way you can fight monsters on your own with weapons is such a cool concept, and I'm surprised that not many people have done it. Believe it or not, I'm making a similar concept in 2.1, so be on the lookout for that. The level even has its own freezing system, which is super impressive. Even though it doesn't feature any crazy boss fights, it's still solid in all categories. After searching on Nexus's channel, I found this level. The level is extremely impressive, and even though Bowser does look a little goofy, it's still extremely stunning besides that. My only issue is the gameplay, which is pretty hard to read. Still though, the level scored high in the other categories, allowing it to edge to the best boss fight placement so far. I did not expect the level to place this high. But do you know what I did expect to place high? This is the Eschaton, another banger from Zender Game. The Eschaton is like a boss rush with 3 stages spread across 5 minutes. How do you make an extremely good level that's 5 minutes long on a mobile device? And in 2019 when these were the average featured levels. Just take a look at how much depth there is in one part. Although this does mean quite a big object count, so if you want one of these mobile devices, consider yourself done for. The Eschaton seemed like it would be impossible to beat. I mean its lowest category was an 8, how could it not be beaten? That's until I found this level. After hours of searching I thought I'd finally found it. This level is Castle Mania. The level features multiple paths and is very fun to explore. You'd think with so many paths the level would be extremely unoptimized, but that's just completely wrong. This doesn't even lag on my phone, and the level has 400,000 objects, which is insane. The level is perfect in every category, but there is a challenger. This is Crazy 3, a well-known masterpiece. The level's decoration and theming is spot on, and the boss fight is extremely well made. But which of these two levels is the best? Well, in my opinion, I think Castlemania is just slightly more enjoyable due to the amount of content you get. 
But this won't last forever, as every day, more and more levels are released. And while we wait for an even better boss fight, check out my video on the easiest level of every difficulty.